Angela, we have made it to T-Town, the city of destiny known as Tacoma. Don't call it a burb. It's not a suburb. It's got its own thing going, and we agree. It's a huge city. Yeah, so we have a lot to do, so we got to get going. Can we start with breakfast? <laughs> we'll see what we can do. All right. All right. <laughs> Hannibal! Whew, that's cold. Whew. Business before breakfast, Chris. Okay, so this is Alma Mater. I wanted to come here because I heard this is a place that welcomes and nurtures artists. And so Aaron, you're gonna show us around. I'm gonna show you around. We have everything from recording studios to co-working artist workspace. So if we wanted to create a song, there's a studio in there. That's right. <laughs> We're going to Tacoma, Tacoma, Tacoma. And an alma mater, the art even extends to the food. Everything on here is edible with the exception of this. So okay. no wood, but that means- We can eat this? Edible flowers. You're doing it. Mmm. Okay. Tastes earthy. Why is Aaron laughing? Was that a prank? No. Are these not edible? You've changed my life. You've changed my life. Thank you. We're out of here. Yeah, you're welcome. I gotta get Angela. Angela, bad news. We gotta go. Do you have any to-go bags? Whee! Commute like a couple of locals here. I Look know, right? Uh Feels like we should check out some culture, huh? Like maybe some of the museums? A lot of museums. In fact, the LeMay Auto Museum, we saw it from I-5 there. The LeMay is actually a mass, the largest collection, privately owned vehicles, memorabilia, all that stuff. It's like eight acres and it's right over there. Yeah, that's good. Everyone keeps mentioning the Museum of Glass, like we gotta check that out. Yeah, but how are we gonna find it? Oh, okay. We're really excited to be hosting an exhibition called Preston Singletary, Raven in the Box of Daylight. But this isn't just a museum. It's where you can watch art come to life. The building has the largest and most active museum glass studio on the West Coast. And you know, these days I'm hearing that Tacoma has become quite the beer town. You have my attention, go on. Yeah, 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 this place I'm gonna take you to, it says it's a place where brew nerds can wave their geek flags proudly. And they have pairings and... Okay, yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Mm -hmm. This place is Peaks and Pints. We have a tap room with the, the latest beer. We have 650 bottles and cans in the cooler, and we have a restaurant. All three came together. It's like a perfect storm. Uh, this is the taster of the Belching Beaver peanut butter latte. Oh my goodness. Tastes exactly like the description. He wrote about beer. His business partners admitted they drank a lot of beer. <laughs> so they got together and said, let's legitimize yeah. this partnership. Yeah. Peaks and Pines. Robbie and Justin were the sandwich kings of Tacoma. They make incredible sandwiches. They've won all these awards. And I've known them forever. And so the three of us came up with this concept. And you pair the drinks with we the do a, sandwich. We do a sandwich special every day. And when we, we pair it with a cider or a beer, whatever is appropriate. OK, so I have a cider. So what would you pair this with? Uh, cheese, all the cheese. I went the IPA route, so you said we got to pair that with something spicy. Cuts the fat, cuts the spice. Don't look now. Oh my gosh, they have tea, Chris. She's a tea girl. I'm a tea girl. Mad Hat Tea, artisanal teas in Tacoma. Our friend uh, Tobin, you should go there. It's really super chill, relaxing. You'll love Is it. that a professional segue? Let's make a tea. Well, I think it's different because I did 20 years of wine. Because I'm a tea drinker, and I've never seen anything quite like this. Isn't tea the most consumed beverage in the world? Yeah, it's after water. Yeah, I don't see any laptops right here. People just come and talk. Tea customers are a lot different than the coffee customer. A little, little less aggressive. They're really happy, because you can't really find tea anywhere. So right. when they come here, they're like, ah. I've never had a bad customer, 12 years. Wow. Yeah, gotta, give it, gotta become a tea drinker. I've got, look, the hormones awry. 
Not that my hormones are awry. Uh, the knockout blend to help me sleep. You really do like tea. That wasn't just for TV. I feel relaxed already. Pinky? I don't know. No pinky. <laughs> and just like Tacoma's tagline, you might say Mad Hatch Journey was just destiny. I hit rock bottom and this voice just said, T, trust me. And I went, yeah, like the letter T. My name's Tobin, you know, T-shirts. And it said, no, you drink it, stupid. Two weeks later, I opened a tea shop. It was the best thing that ever happened.